together a younger group of DBs, maybe with less experienced corners? Is it harder maybe for you to get your opportunities to, to go rush and, and leave the backfield? Um, the game plan changes every week, and we're going to do what's best for the team for that to happen. And different quarterbacks pre present different challenges, and Dean comes with a new defense every week, and uh, they're pretty good. That's why he's probably a Hall of Fame coordinator. So uh, we're going to ride with that, and whatever he asks me to do, I know one thing that my role changes a lot from week to week, and I think that's the strength of our defense is allowing versatile players to be versatile. So it's going to be different this week than it was last week, and uh, I'll cover a variety of those guys because Kamara and Cook and Michael Thomas and all of them have to get covered. So uh, we'll move some pieces around for sure. And uh, in the back end, new, new pieces all about communication. So we got to do a better job of uh, leading and communicating. And uh, that, that, that stuff takes reps. It takes games. It takes years to become a good secondary and stuff like that. So when some pieces go down, other guys have done a great job of stepping up. We got to do our best job communicating, make sure everyone knows uh, what to expect in every play. I feel play. like your blitz, blitz rates changed much without Malcolm, without Adore. I'm sure PFF will tell you that. I don't know my blitz rate, so uh, <laughs> I'm trying to. I mean, without Malcolm and Adore, we won more games than we lost. So we're just trying to win games. So uh, we won six of our last eight, I think. So that ain't bad. Uh, we got to win this one. So uh, you, you, I'm sure you'll get back to me on the blitz rate. How do you win we'll the this one? How do you win it? Uh, we're plus something in the year, plus six or seven. I know we're pretty good, so uh, keep punching at the ball. He doesn't throw a lot of interceptions. So it's, this is a timing offense, precision and timing and accuracy. That's Drew Brees, and that's their offense. So we got to disrupt the timing by hitting the receivers, hitting Drew Brees, getting to the middle of the pocket, much like we did Brady a year ago. I mean, they're efficient as ever. We just got to make it disruptive and got to understand they're, they're Hall of Famers. We're going to have some success out there. We just got to limit that. What makes Thomas so tough to deal with, and what would you rank him amongst the best receivers? I don't rank him. It's not my job to rank him. It's my job to cover him. Uh, he's got good hands. He uh, creates a lot of disruption at the line of scrimmage and catches the ball, much like Hopkins. So they're pretty similar. One's in AFC, one's in NFC. But uh, the Pro Bowl, the, uh, the the gurus, they rank him. I just I cover him. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, I'm honored to be an alternate and honored to be up there with the tops in the league. and. Uh, I think it's a testament of uh, hard work, and uh, and it's, it's not a negative thing at all. I might end up being in that game anyway. But, I mean, the goal is to win this one and, and be playing in Miami around that time. But uh, I think everyone who got voted in deserves it, and I think there's a lot more players that deserve it, obviously. There's not enough spots for how many good players there are. So I'm honored for all the fans that voted for me. I know it's top six or something, so I think that's awesome. Uh, that this small market, seeing some players out there, whatever you want to say. But I'm honored for to be an alternate, and I think everyone who made it deserves it. And I think we have some players on this team deserve to be in it, and I'm happy for Derek and Kern and uh, KB and everyone else. But, uh, you know, we got to worry about the Saints here, and hopefully we don't have to worry about that game. How important is it going to be to, to, like you said, focus on this game and not worry, not scoreboard watch, or think about the other games, whether it helps you guys get in the season depends on it. So, I mean, a scoreboard watch, you can scoreboard watch if you want, but, I mean, if you don't win our game, it's not going to help. So, uh, you got to focus on a game like our season depends on it, and I think it does. So, uh, I think that's enough.